This is a video to display the single nucleic acid point mutations. Here, we are given the original sequence of DNA, and you can see that we translated it into RNA, and from this RNA, we are able to discover which proteins this strand of DNA will code for. So from these, we can see the various point mutations, and the first is a missense mutation. This will change the amino acid, perhaps altering the protein function or making it non-functional. But here in this case, you just see that the C will convert into a G, which is a transversion, and this will create a new protein. Now in our original sequence, we had a different protein, and you can see that comparison here. So missense will just change the amino acid. Next, we have a silent mutation. And this is when even though the letter is being changed and coding for a new RNA, you will get a, the same protein. So a silent point mutation will code for the same amino acid. So here we have the C converting into a T, which is a transition. And this will give you the exact same protein as we originally had, as you can see here. Next, we have a nonsense mutation. And in this case, the codon is changed so that it becomes a stop codon prior to it would have originally. So here, the G is transfer transformed into an A, which is a transition. And this small action will make a UAG RNA. And this will code for a stop protein, whereas originally the strand would have continued. So it results in an early stop. Finally, we have a read through. Point mutation. And in this case, the stop codon is changed into a codon that will transform into amino acid and give you a longer strand of protein. So here the A is transformed into a G, which is a transition, and this UGG will result in no more stop proteins. And so the protein sequence will continue and these are the point mutations for single acid, single nucleic acids.